so in this lecture so we will learn about a conditional statement known as switch so we will study about switch statement and let's analyze this code so we have a code here so we have a piece of code where we are given int a is 5 b is 6 and c is 10 and now we have a new keyword which is switch so what does switch means and we have some variable here like a is here so switch a means whatever will be the value of a so it will go to that switch case so here we see initially a is 5 so now we do switch a so a will be evaluated which is 5 and it will go to the case where the value is 5 so it will directly come to this place it will print a is equal to 5 and then it will break and will come out to this part of the code so this is very simple so this is used instead of if so we could have used if statement here but when we have a lot of different discrete values so we prefer a switch case where if so it, it would have been like if a is equal to 1 then do this else if a is equal to so we could have written if a is equal to 1 then something else if a is equal to 2 so do something else if a is equal to 5 do something or else which is the default case do something so this switch is equivalent to this if block and so we see that okay if a is 5 so we directly come to this code we execute this and we come out so this is similar so here but it is much simpler to write if we have a lot of discrete values so now let's see some more code so we now see one more thing so we have now a is equal to 1 so now we make a is equal to 1 we do switch a so now a is 1 so it will come here so now we should think that okay it will print a is equal to 1 but what we see is that it will in fact go and go to this place print a is equal to 2 again there is no break so it will come here and it will print a is equal to 5 now there is a break so it comes out to this place so it's very important to give a break after the case execution code ends so it it's important otherwise it will go to the other piece of code so let's uh, try to do some fancy thing let's try to debug this code and see what so this green line shows that okay we are at this part now so let's say that I'm executing the code one line at a time so we have now three variables so what happens is that so we go so a is 5 so it directly jumps to the case 5 and we see that okay let's do the so it prints now and let's see so we see that a is equal to 5 is printed and then we move further it goes to the next line which is after the switch case so a is 5 is just printed and nothing else so now we see that a is equal to 1 so it goes to switch a and it goes to case 1 we move further and we see that a is equal to 1 is printed it should have gone out but we see that we execute and it goes to the case 2 also and again case 5 so we see that a is equal to 2 is also printed then we move to case 5 a is 5 is printed and now it breaks here so it doesn't go into the default so it returns success and this was about so a is equal to 1 a is equal to 2 and a is 5 is printed so we learned the code of switch case and we saw that it's very important so these are the discrete values whatever the values a is it will go to that case if a is 5 now it went directly to case 5 and it printed 
executed the code till here and it's very necessary to grip the break statement so this was all about the switch case and this ends our lecture so if you like this please subscribe to our channel and you can visit saurabhschool.org to see more lectures on c thanks